It was tricky, I was trying to get low. I felt guilty asking mama for shoes. Weekends at my dad's house. Granny face on the nose. So when I knew that LA beat is show. My immediate roast. Had me wrestling a demon or two. Pops left, I say I'm leaving with you. Used to cry when you dropped me off. Broken home, left a lot of scars. How I chose to deal with it almost got me warm. Why did Jay Uso lose his Intercontinental title to Braun Breaker? Jay Uso separated himself from the bloodline, separated himself from being Roman Reigns' nut rag, separated himself from his boring ass twin brother who nobody gives a fuck about with the corn rolls. Jay Uso has the best WWE entrance of all time. There's not one superstar that walks out and the crowd engages to the point where when the music stops, they're still singing the whole song. Not just singing it, but like singing it, moving the hands up and down, going crazy, screaming yeet. Zay Uso's crowd control is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. He walks out from the crowd. The crowd goes stupid. He engages with the crowd. He goes into the ring, stands up on the turnbuckle. The crowd is still into it. And it doesn't matter if he's in America. He can be in Dubai. We just see him. He can be in Dubai. He can be anywhere. The crowd loves Jay Uso. Jay Uso turned himself into a superstar. And what does Triple H and the WWE do? Have him lose his Intercontinental title that he only had for maybe a month. He just took the belt from Braun Breaker. And you have Braun Baker come right back super quick and get the belt back. And you put him right back into the fucking bloodline. And this bloodline shit is played out, right? It's completely played out. Ever since Roman Reigns lost to Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania and he came back and they, they started this bloodline storyline where Solo Sokoa is not a tribal chief, it's played out. And the sad part about it is, Jacob for two is a superstar. I mean, as far as new wrestlers, he's the hottest new wrestler on the WWE right now. His mic skills is phenomenal. Super intense, right? Scary looking dude. Facial expressions 10 out of 10. He can wrestle. His finishing move is fire, right? Like, dude is a star. And instead of having him build up his character, you just have Jacob for two as it's, it's like what Lloyd Banks and Young Buck was the 50 cent. You just got him as Solo Sokoa's uh, bodyguard when he's much bigger than that. There's so many other things he can do. I want to see Jacob for two versus Braun Breaker because when Braun Breaker won his belt back from uh, Jay Uso, we seen for two and Braun Breaker stand face to face. And that was that that was that's a fight that I want to see at WrestleMania. Next WrestleMania. I want to see Jacob for two versus Braun Breaker, 100%. But instead of that, right? Instead of that, you got Jimmy Uso, the brother nobody cares about with the corn rolls. You got him reaching out to Braun Breaker to be a part of their tag team, which makes absolutely no sense because this nigga just stole the belt from your brother. And remember at the last WrestleMania, it was who? Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. The two brothers fought each other. Jay Uso won. Remember? Jimmy Uso turned his back and, and switched up on his brother. And they just made up. And now the same brother is going back to work with the Ops again? It makes no fucking sense. Jay Uso should have never lost his title to Braun Breaker. Never. He worked so hard to build this character. Turned himself into a star. Entrance is phenomenal. Found the perfect entrance. Has the crowd engaging. Has the dance moves. Has the rest of the moves. Has the finisher. He even stole Braun Breaker's finishing move and does it, makes it look better. And you throw him right back into the bloodline. Right back into being Roman Reigns' sidekick. So my question to you guys, and my question to Triple H and the WWE, because I know they're going to watch this video, what are the plans <laughs> after this five on five, right? Like after this five on five, after we see Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa fight for the fifth time in the same year, what's the plan after that, right? If Roman Reigns loses again and, and Solo Sokoa does the little goofy ass spike, 
What's the plan after that? Are they going to fight for the sixth time at WrestleMania? I mean, really? Like, what is the plan? I mean, Roman Reigns, and that's going to be a separate video. Roman Reigns is just too big of a star to be a guy that keeps losing over. I mean, we've seen him get beat up by Solo Sokoa and Jacob and them boys. We just seen Roman Reigns get beat up at least five times in a row now. And now they're going to do it again. <laughs> Triple H is gonna say, nah, let's do it again. Like, like, I mean, bro, these storylines, this is this, the storyline is way too long with the bloodline. It's boring, it's predictable, it's not exciting. I'm not excited for this five on five. And it's to a point now where it's like, like, honestly, bro, I don't care if Roman Reigns ever becomes a tribal chief again. I don't care. Because Solo Sokoa has been a tribal chief for so long that he's actually grown into the character, right? His mic skills have gotten better, he's funny. And I actually like seeing Solo Sokoa be the Tribal Chief now. I actually do. So I don't give a fuck if Roman Reigns ever becomes a Tribal Chief again. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Right? If Solo Sokoa is the new Tribal Chief, cool. Have Roman Reigns do his own thing, bro. Roman Reigns, I mean, Roman Reigns can, can start the promo now. I mean, we're already in fucking November, right? There's only, what, one more month left in the year. Start the Roman Reigns... Start the build-up for Roman Reigns versus The Rock at WrestleMania. <laughs> I'd much rather want to see that because that's what we were supposed to get last year. And the fans didn't want it. So now that Roman Reigns isn't champion anymore, I'm pretty sure they want to see it now, right? The fans wanted Cody Rhodes to be champion. Triple H, you gave the fans what they wanted. Cool. Now, like, let's stop destroying... because we're, 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 we're witnessing Roman Reigns' talent just get wasted, Right? And he's the, and in my opinion, he's the face of the WWE. Even with Cody Rhodes as champion, Roman Reigns, without a doubt, is the face of the WWE. Hands down. Right? Like, what are we doing, man? What are we doing? Home left a lot of scars. How I chose to deal with it almost got me washed. It was tricky, I'm just trying to get low. I got comfortable with something I was trying to refuse. You take blows and you lie with the bros. Play this game and you lie with the lows. Nigga, go and get it, bring it back, and then divide with your crew. When you went on your terms, you redefining the rules. At this point, I ain't got nothing to prove. It's extra credit how I'm busting these moves. You said it beat, nothing. I'm still in the streets. Sometimes I'm trying to get up. Watch too many 